Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Modding Tutorials. Today I'm going to be doing another episode of Modding with Forge. And this episode I'm going to be showing you how to prepare your mods class for modding in the future. So it'll make it easier to add blocks and items and I'll just show you I'll just show you the basics of the latest version of Forge because it's considerably changed since the last version. So to start with, once you've decompiled Forge, if you don't know how to do that, then you'll need to go and look at my last video. And once you've decompiled it, you'll need to open up Eclipse. So just open up Eclipse. I'm using the Indigo version, so if you want to get that, then just search Eclipse up, Indigo, and download that. Now you'll need to, once it's opened, you'll need to browse for the folder where all all the source and stuff is kept. So mine's named YouTube Example Forge. And then inside there there should be bin, config, docs, eclipse, forge and other folders like jars, lib. But you'll need to click on eclipse. So you've now got the eclipse folder selected as it said folder as it says folder eclipse. Click OK then click OK again. And now it loads that workspace. Okay. First thing you noticed when you come in, you don't have a client and server uh, packages if you're new, if you're not new to modding and have modded with Modloader and Forge in the past. And if, but if you're new to modding, there used to be a client and server package here, but now there's only one, and there's also there only used to be a source and the rest of these, but now there's a common as well, and common is the server and client together and but the bits you want to make your mod in is is in source so to do this I'm going to go ahead and create a new package and I'm going to name this whatever I want so I'm going to name, name it forge toot and that's going to create a new package then what I'm going to do I'm going to create a new class inside that package and I'm going to name that base forge toot and toot stands for tutorial. And the cool thing about uh, Forge is that now you don't actually need any. You don't need to name your class mod underscore and then the name of your mod. And it doesn't even have to be in the net dot minecraft dot src. It can be wherever you want, but it's just got to inherit one method and this is if I just get out of there, and this method is the if I can remember it, it's the at mod. So you need to, so underneath the package for tutorial, you need to do you need to do the at symbol, and then you need to do capital M mod. Then you need to open brackets, and you need to do mod id equals then speech marks and you just give your mod an ID so I'm going to give my mod an ID of forge test and what that will do is if there's any other mod with the same ID your Minecraft will crash it just means it can tell apart which mods are which and that's that's just that little method that little variable and there's another variable you've got to add and this is name equals and then speech marks again and this is the name of your mods in game so if you don't the mod section this is what your mod will be called so I'm going to call this pro personal al test mod so the next variable is version and so you type in version equals and then you open uh, speech marks and then you type in the version so it can be a number it can be so I'm just going to do it 1.0.0 .0. and as you can see I'm getting these errors and this is because I haven't imported a certain class so if you hover over the mod at, at mod symbol it'll say import mod so you need to do that and then all those errors will be gone so now what you've done is you have actually registered your, registered your mod 
so now it will take other variables and methods from here so now that you've done that what you want to do you want to do another at symbol in the same just underneath the mod and it's network so capital N and then network mod capital M so network mod and then you open brackets and now you need to type in client side required and that equals true then you also need to do another variable which is server side required and that equals false and you also need to import something else and this is import network mod so just hover over network mod again and import that and then the error should be gone and what this is doing is if so if this variable is set to true and this variable is set to false uh, you're making a client and server mod and if if both methods are set to true then you're making just the client mod and this is useful because forge now combines this client and server source so then when you're coding the client mod you're actually coding the server as well and this makes it a lot easier and a lot quicker uh, just to code things as you don't have to code both sides and I really like that feature and that's why I'm going to be using forge in the future so once you've done that uh, you'll also need to add some more parameters to this app network mod and this is version if I spell right version bounds then you do equals then you need to do the square brackets and inside there actually before the square brackets you need to put and after you need to put a semi I mean not semicolon a some speech marks and now what you need to do you need to go ahead and copy the version into there and that all that does is so when you join a server if the version is not the same it just won't allow you to join so you've got the wrong version and now once you've done that that is your mod registered and also sets whether you're doing a server mod or client mod and stuff like that so now you'll need to go into the public class base forge tutorial and space made a few spaces so now what you'll need to do you'll need to do another at symbol and you need to do sided proxy sided proxy and then you open brackets and client side equals and now you need to do the place where this file is going to be stored so considering I made a new package it's going to be stored in here so the package is forge tutorial and then you'll need to do dot and then you'll need to do the name of whatever that package will be called and I'm going to call this package client different spell client proxy client proxy and now once you've done that you need to put another comma and now you need to do server side equals open brackets and now you need to do the same so forge tutorial dot but instead of client proxy you need to do common proxy now once that's done once that's done you can oops what's happened here ah uh, yeah we haven't finished it yet so I think you need to import something I'm not sure why this is giving me the error but once I'm done it should be alright so now you need to do a, another line of code and this is public static common proxy wait public sorry public static common proxy and then you need to do the variable and that will be proxy 
been too long and this has worked itself out so you actually need to import sided proxy so import that and that got rid of the errors and oh yeah this is the name of the class that you need to make so whatever this is here it also needs to be the same here so we'll make that class in a minute but after this you'll need to do public class and then you can name you can type whatever you want here so I'm just going to call it my forge mod and then you just put no variables and two squiddly brackets and that's that bit done now what you'll need to do you'll need to add the load method this is different from mod loader this is it's different from mod loader so what you'll need to do you'll need to do at again at n i n i t space then you'll need to do public void and then you can name this whatever you want so I'm just going to do it load from it doesn't matter what the name is then you need to open brackets then you need to do fml all capitals <coughs> initialization event initialization event and then you need to put the variable of that and that is going to be event and then you'll need to import that and you'll also need to import this n i n i t let's import that then you need to put the squiddly brackets and inside there you need to get the variable of your common proxy and put common proxy dot register render render in for mation then brackets then semicolon at the end and you're getting an error at the moment because we haven't actually made that event and now what you need to do you also need to do client proxy Can't spell. Client proxy dot register render information. So copy that, and then you'll also need to put brackets for no variables and semicolon. And you'll get in errors because you haven't actually created these classes yet. But we'll do that in a minute. And after this, what you'll need to do is you'll need to do at pre. N I N I T and once you've done that you'll need to import which it won't allow me to do that yet but after that you need to do public void and then you can name it whatever you want but I'm going to call it preload because that's what it's doing preload and then you can just go ahead and copy exactly exactly the same thing from the load from method and then Squiddly, Timmy Bob's, Squiddly brackets, and you'll also need to import pre ni i n i t. Import that, and that is it for this class file. So I'll just get rid of those spaces. Oops. And now what you'll need to do, you'll need to create two more classes, and this is common proxy and client proxy. So if we just go ahead and do new class common proxy to create that class and client proxy to create those two classes and now in the common proxy it needs to implement GUI handler and GUI handler is what allows you to open GUI in server so it needs to implement implement we implements G U I no I G U I handler I G U I handler capital H 
then you'll need to import iGUI handler and it will say that you need to add unimplemented methods so just allow it to do that because that just saves a lot of time and I'm just going to clean this up so it looks a bit better okay so you can just leave those for the moment because we're not adding GUIs yet but now what you need to do, you'll need to do public static void and now you need to get this render register render information and that is there then you do no variables and open brackets and I'm just going to write here keep clear on server so this common proxy is what the server will get everything off and also what the client will get everything off but the client also needs extra bits for like rendering the uh, textures uh, the names of items and this is where the client proxy comes in so in the client proxy you've got your package public class client proxy and this needs to extend so it needs to extend common proxy so the file that you just created common proxy have I spelled extend? it extends extends common proxy and in there you can just go ahead and copy this public static void register render information and just copy that in there and you, this isn't kept clean because this is the client side so in here you can do literally all your uh, mod loader dot you can do add, add biome this is where you do all your stuff so add blocks and things but it's not actually modeler anymore it's something like game register I can't remember what it is register dot so I can't remember what it is but it's something like game register I will do it in the next video when I show you how to create a block so now you can actually go ahead and save all of it so just click save and hopefully all the errors should be gone yep there we are all errors gone so that is prepared your mod and if you go ahead and click run it should work fine as you can see we're loading minecraft and if you go into mods as you can see pro personal alb test mod it recognizes our mod version 1.0.0 recognizes our mod so that is going to be it for this video uh, I hope you all enjoyed this guys and I hope it was informative all the source information is going to be down in the description on pastebin so if you just want to copy and paste it into yours into your classes uh, and that is it so bye everybody my name is Propersal Alb and I'll see you all next time